While reviewing numerous resumes, I noticed many of them look strikingly similar. This is often because individuals turn to resources like Canva, an online graphic program that offers pre-made templates for users. Unfortunately, this leads to a lack of originality and creativity as many people end up using the same template. Welcome and thank you for joining this Adobe InDesign tutorial. Before I dive into today's lesson, I recommend that you view our previous tutorial on creating paragraph styles versus character styles. This knowledge will be crucial for the current lesson, as we will be using these styles to streamline our workflow process. Additionally, if you have a rough concept or a thumbnail sketch outlining how you would like to position your text and other design elements, it can be incredibly beneficial. Creating a one or two page resume in Adobe InDesign is a great way to showcase your professional experience and design skills. To get started, follow these steps for creating a resume in InDesign. If you already possess a document with paragraph and character styles or a file with foundational layers, great. You can proceed to open it and begin inputting text into the doc, such as your name and contact information. If not, launch Adobe InDesign and proceed to create a new document. When prompted, select an intent, choose print, and then pick the appropriate page size for your resume. In my case, I will be using the US letter size, which is more commonly available in Canada and the United States. For those residing in Europe or Asia, the A4 paper size may be more appropriate. Or, for those who have an existing InDesign template that you may have created with styles or foundation layers, follow these steps. Open InDesign. Click on File in the top bar menu bar and select Open from the drop down menu. Or Command O on a Mac or Control O for a PC. Navigate to the location where the InDesign template is saved. Select the InDesign template file and click on Open. The InDesign template file will open with its, with its layers, styles, and format it intact. Once the InDesign template is open, you can start editing the content and making changes to design as needed. If you want to save the changes as a new document, select Save As from the file menu and give it a new name. This will keep the original template file intact and you can continue to use it for future projects. If you already established your paragraph or character styles, that's awesome. If not, choose a font and set the styles for your headings and body text. It's important to choose a font that is easy to read and match your style or personality. But as well, this will speed up the process while creating the resume. Add your details such as your name, content information, and social media handles at the top of a resume in a prominent location. For privacy and security reasons, it's advisable not to disclose your home address. Typically, you can provide your email address, phone number, and professional social media profiles. If you wanted to, you could also mention your city, province, state, or country. Add sections for your work experience, education, and skills. Use bold headings or colors to separate each section. While it is possible to enhance your resume with graphics and icons that complement its style and emphasize its core competencies, I have chosen to keep this resume in a text format only. In an upcoming video, we will provide a tutorial on incorporating images into InDesign. I advise against including a profile photo in your resume. It's crucial to be assessed based on your skills, qualification, and experience, rather than your physical appearance. By omitting a photo, you can ensure that attention is directed towards your professional achievement and qualifications. Make sure to proofread and content to ensure that there are no errors. You may also want to have someone else review your resume to get a second opinion. Or at least do a spell check. If you want to save the file, select Save As from the file mint and give it a new name. This will keep the file intact and you can continue to use it for future projects. Export your resume as a PDF file to ensure that it maintains its text formatting and can be easily shared with others. Overall, creating a resume in Adobe InDesign allows you to showcase your professional experience in a visually appealing way. Just make sure to balance design with readability and keep your resume clear and concise. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please like it and subscribe to get more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.